So just a kind of a quick review on this uh, factoring problem. Again, I just want to remind a lot of you guys when you're, when you're in need of factoring, when you're in need of factoring, especially when you have a degree that's raised to a power larger than a quadratic, is look to factoring out a common factor. Always want to look into factoring out a common factor first. One thing I noticed as far as the numbers, 3, 15, and 18 all have a um, greatest common factor of 3. So a lot of times I just write in GCF, and I can say that's 3. And they also all share an x, so I say 3x. So remember, factoring is basically dividing out your greatest common factor. So you could say, what could I, you know, if I divide out 3x from 3x three, um, three cubed, then I'm just going to be left with x, um, x squared. And again, you can always check your answer, right? If you divide something out, you can always go back to multiply it. 3x times x squared is what? 3x squared. Three x cubed, right? Divide out a 3x from here, I have a negative 5x. Again, let's check our answer. 3x times negative 5x is negative 15x squared. And divide out a 3x from 18x is a positive 6. Again, check our answer. 3x times 6 is 18x, OK? Now, we want to make sure that we can always factor things completely, meaning writing them as a product of like linear factors and so forth, if, we, if possible. So now we want to be able to determine, is this trinomial factoring? So remember, we talked about factoring you know, perfect square trinomials. We've done a lot now with completing the square, right? We did difference of two squares, you know, factoring trinomial, all these different ways. Remember, basically, what we're looking into is what two numbers. Since my a is equal to 1, we just want to know what two numbers multiply to give you 6, but add to give you negative 5. There's only so many factors of 6 that multiply to give you 6. 6 and 1, 2 and 3. However, they have to add to give you negative. So therefore, it's either negative 6 and negative 1, or negative 2 and negative 3. So my final answer is 3x times x minus 3 times x minus 2. Done. OK? So you guys, I'd probably say you could probably fit you know, any